Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Mandate of Heaven playing as Japan. We are so close to realizing our goal to conquer all of Asia. We're also very close to realizing our goal of conquering all of the Pacific and every single province associated with it. Very close to doing that. We just need to kill off Peru and we need to feed off a fair bit of Mexico. In the meantime, our vassals are actually doing a pretty good job of sieging down Mexico. So if we could just get over there with some more men, it should be pretty easy. Where'd they go? Okay, now I'm confused. Where the heck did Peru's army go? They just disappeared. They've disappeared into the mountains. All right, screw it. Come up here. We're gonna have to siege down some Mexican stuff. A couple forts will do fine. Oh, found them. Okay, hang on. Where are you going? You're gonna run, are you running off into Brazil? No, not quite. Colombian separatists again. Makes freaking sense. Getting kind of annoyed about that one, but sure, why not? Can you go kill these guys? I don't, I don't like that they exist. No, stop sieging down my stuff. That's mine. It's actually my vassals, but even so, stop it. Portugal will take stuff from Frankfurt. That's probably because Austria is defending Portugal, I think. Against Great Britain. Okay, and that finishes off Peru's army. I can move along with impunity. And convert more Hindu. A lot of Muslims next on the list. We can handle that though, I think. Tariffs on salt. Nope. Not gonna do that. Okay, with them done, they are full occupied. There's nothing else they can do. You guys, let's go up here for now. Don't know exactly how much we can do with Mexico right now. They got a couple of forts in my way. Did they catch his army out? Nope, there it is. Oh, they got their... You let them get their capital back. Gosh dang it. It's fine. Still a year ahead of time on tech. Okay. Not that tech is really a high priority at this point in the game. It doesn't really do much of anything for me. But, you know, it's a thing we can do. Declining power of the Chinwongs. We haven't considered uh, demanding any power for a while. We can do it, though. Seek support of the clergy. I can't recruit ministers unless they have 40. Well, that sucks. I could give them lands. Do I want to do that? Yeah, kinda. Hang on. States. What can I giz? You already have that one. And that one. And that one. Wow, I gave the Shizu a lot of land over here, didn't I? Eh. Give them this. This will increase their influence by 1%. Not enough. Hmm. This. Give them... They're up to 38.1. 39.2. The things I do just get a little bit of extra power. There we go. That should be 40%. Good. Now we will recruit... Um... um We'll recruit an Inquisitor. And a Minister. And we demand. Chin Wongs, call a diet. You're getting fat. Oh, wait, sorry. Eh, we'll just go ahead and demand military support is for what you got right now. And for you, we'll grant your Monopoly Charters. Then we will recruit a Minister. We'll recruit uh, an Admiral. And then we will demand support. Lots of extra Diplo power for me. Good. That'll work fine. Okay. Never seen to worry about freaking Mexico. Uh, you stay put for a second. I'm gonna get a general in charge, is what we need. Kilwa, rival Portugal, okay. Take you, go here. Oh, that was really fast. Okay, San Salvador fell. Uh, these are only level two forts, turns out, and uh, that's easy enough to deal with. Bukharan separatists are back. In force. Anything else? Good lord. We do have quite a few separatists, don't we? It's because I'm overextended. No, I'm not even overextended. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hmm. Hungary apparently was in this war too. This is turning into a pretty big war over here. Austria versus Hungary. And Great Britain. And the Pope. We're defenders of the Catholic faith, but we like to kill our Pope once in a while. <laughs> sure, that seems sensible enough. Will you defend Lithuania? Yes. 
Boo! If I could only kill Lithuania very quickly, but I'd have to fight Austria, and I'm not fighting Austria. It's just, it's not worth it at this stage of the game. It's just not. It'll take way too long. Gosh, I'm rock and rock separatists. Okay. If you guys are wondering why I call it Gosham Rockamra, by the way, it's because back in a long time ago, I didn't know how to pronounce their name. So I'm like, Gazi, 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 just call it Gosham Rockamra. That's what it's been ever since. Hey, another fort's down. Good. We gotta go kill the Mexicans. Okay, they're dead. Wow. You left. Wow. This shattered this army. Holy crap, they won, but barely. Jeez, I think I lost like 30,000 men in that fight. New monarch in Russia, Emperor Ivan. Emperor of what, sir? Your empire is crumbling around you. A traveling minstrel. A renowned minstrel recently crossed our nation's borders. His intentions is to roam the country, bringing joy to all who hear him. Allow well, him to go where he wants. Gain prestige, bring him to court and meritocracy. Okay. Or convince him that life in Beijing would be in his best interest, because I'm well-connected. Uh, basically, I get him to stay, but he's cheaper. That's it. He's only a level 2 stability cost modifier guy. Let's go for the power. You can go wherever you wish and bring your joy for all my people to hear. Okay. Yeah. Split, split. Split, go. Here, 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 here. Here. And here. Nicaragua. That'll work. Truce with Colombia has ended. Truce with Haiti has ended. Okay. Keep working on the uh, Hindu or start working on the Muslims at some point? I mean, we got a lot of freaking Hindu. A lot of them. But we're making some progress here. I guess we could really start working on some of these uh, Muslims here. We could do that. Sunni. Um... Or the Shia, apparently. That's also fine. Yeah, I don't I don't really care that much. Does it really matter? Probably not. Okay. Kalats, we finished with them. Good, because that means that we want to start annexing them relatively soon. In a few years' time, we should be able to do that. So we have a pretty high uh, war score with Mexico at this point. So we should be able to piece them out separately, I would think. Especially if we can get their capital down, which you're already working on. Yeah, take that capital back, and then we'll separate piece out with Mexico before they can get much back. And that'll be fine. Go here. Go here. Okay. And looks like we got some more culture conversions. And... Come on, take the fort, take the fort! No! All right, well, they want to go fight. Let's go fight. Oh, apparently not. Hang on, let's go this way. Come here, Mexico. Come here. Oh, you, you've heard about my wall building habits, have you? Oh, I can explain. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, okay. Unexpected uh, revolutionaries are unexpected. Let's go away. <laughs> Run away. Oh, gosh, dang it. Take the fort! No! I'm losing more men. Fortification effort. Hang on. Yes, local defensiveness. Moldavian. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second. Wow, I actually lost that fight. Fair and square, I lost that fight against Mexico. I take it all back. I'm sorry. I made a tasteless joke. I've been punished for it. Okay? It's fine. Uh, let's see. I don't want to have quite so many... Diplomats out there. All right, we've got their capital down, so let's just let's just peace out with Mexico. We're gonna take your your coast. Sound good? Great. I'm glad I'm glad that we are in agreement on this subject. Um, I can hand all of this off now. This is gonna cost me a fair bit of diplo power, but I don't know how much I care if they keep some of this land. It's probably not a big deal, right? Let's take this and that. There we go. Ah, and for good measure, we'll go ahead and take it, I guess. All right, we're going to hand all of that off to all of our colonial nations, and we'll take some money, too. Skidoosh. Goodbye, Mexico. Coconut Tochi has gotten stronger. We also have the ability to fight Portugal. 
Speaking of which, fabricate a claim. I can't fabricate a claim on the things I wanted. I wanted a claim on this one. Go shoot day. This is what I wanted to take from Portugal, but I'm not allowed to. What can I claim? Luongo. Oh. Yes, I guess that would be true, wouldn't it? Huh. Uh, let's just corrupt him and then leave him alone. Sorry, Portugal. I thought that I could demand that province, but apparently I was wrong. Okay, uh, all you guys come home. We were travelers. Let's deal with Peru next. That's a lot of peasants. I don't want to fight to the peasants. Okay, sue for peace. We'll take all this. Take the coast. Work away over here. Uh, we'll take this mountain range, I guess. Can I just take everything? Totally can. Let's just full annex Peru and hand it all off. That can't possibly come back to me, haunt me, right? No, I don't think so. Okay, goodbye, Peru. It was nice to meet you. Bye. doop a doop 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 a doop do Gain Holy War against Brazil. I don't think it's going to last because it should go away. Unless... No. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think I have any borders with them. It should all go away to my colonial nations. And sure enough, it did exactly that. Okay. Well, that's one big mission done. We now own the entirety of the coast of the Pacific. Every single nation is now mine. Unless, of course, you count, you know, this side of Africa, but I don't. I'm not counting that. Nor should you. Point is, I win. I am win. Austria, how's your war going against Great Britain? It's going how it's going. You're still defending and you're not doing a great job, it turns out. Great Britain is pretty strong. Convert some heretics, eh? Okay. Ah, uh, I guess we'll convert Yaroslav. Where the heck is that? Really? I was allowed to convert this Orthodox province. This single weird Orthodox province can go to Shinto. Really? Doesn't that seem a little weird? I think it seems a little weird. Okay. Colombian Separatists again. Good God! How many freaking Colombian Separatists can we have? They're all the same. This is supposed to be. A royal marriage with a lesser wall. I already have a royal marriage with the Great Wall, so no. New missions. I don't want to rely on trade income. Tech. Superior ship design. Sure. Military tech. Shock and fire value. And supply limit. Yes, I like the idea of the supply limit. That's actually super duper handy right now. Did I lose a lot of troops over here? Because I feel like I'm missing an entire stack of troops somewhere. Hey! I am missing an entire stack of troops somewhere. The ones that were treated, of course, you cowards. After you lost a fight against Mexico, the first battle I've lost in eons. Importing food to combat famine. Mm, we'll refuse to import the food and get mercantilism. It's probably fine, right? People don't need food to live. Usually. Okay. So we're doing pretty good on freaking supply. This is now up to 55 supply limit. That's really solid. We can move around much, much larger armies now with no problem. Can I start the annexation of you? Not until 1809. Okay. Truce with Greece, Hungary, Mexico, Poland, Munster, Russia, Tabaristan. All of my neighbors except for Scandinavia. So if I want to bring Austria in on a war, it has to be with Scandinavia. Austria will not join because they're fighting Great Britain and they consider that a big threat. Foin. I'm just going to have to sit back and wait. I don't like it, but I'm going to have to. Die, Colombians! Leader trait gained. He's faster. No, like literally, he's just 10% faster. He runs much faster now. Imperialism against the Papal State. Their capital is Loon. <coughs> Okay, so the Papal State got annihilated, basically, and somebody, namely Liege, who I believe is probably still a bishopric, right? Yeah, an archbishopric. A, theo a theocratic uh, Catholic nation gave a province over to the Papal State because there must always be a Popal Stata. Yeah. Hey, more cultures. Good. 
Yeah, so Austria, sooner you win this war, the better. Let's improve relations with you for a while because you're not actually super thrilled with me. Hmm, uh, let's go ahead and not do Diplo anymore. I don't need it. Lodia gives me nothing. Colombia, good. Venice, yeah. Let's just take a bunch of admin power. I need the tech anyway, right? Returned on lawful territory of Loon. How did that work? How did Liege get Loon and then give it... How did... Don't you think you should have demanded the unlawful territory from the Papal State? Wait, how does that... I'm not really sure how that one worked. But okay. Sure. Why not? I don't think that Bavaria is actually in a personal union with Scandinavia anymore. They're just friends. They broke off a very amicable relationship. That's what it means. Yes. I want to kill Lithuania. But you won't let me, Austria. Hey, they're allied to Poland again. Hey! I think I told you to break up that alliance. What do you think you're doing? Okay, so what I could do... Nope, Austria will defend Poland too. Gosh dang it! I'm getting kind of stuck here, guys. But at least we're back up to 100% mandate. Reduces unrest a fair chunk. Not enough. But it helps. Speaking of which... Jargon Separatists. Oh my god, there's so many going around now. Okay, we need to go on cleanup. Clean up on IL-3! Let's just go save all my colonial nations from impending death. Okay, more conversions. Don't care about this mission. I'm gonna just go ahead and take you and automatically cancel. Hey, look! Separatists fighting peasants. Seems right. No guys, Separatists. Actually, hang on. That one That one is actually a threat to me. Where was, where was that? Well, no, no, no guy? They fire over here? Wait. I saw no guy separatists. There they are. Kill. No! Catch him. Gosh dang it! Japanese Peru revolutionaries. And more Colombian separatists. God! How many freaking Colombians can you have? You're not supposed to have this many. Oh lordy. Ostrakhani Separatists, finally! I've been waiting for you! Superfire General. And reinforcements on the way. Britain has peaced out with Portugal. White peace, no one gained anything. So Austria's done with their war now. Good. Scandinavia? Austria? You wanna fight the Scandinavia? Yes you do! I know you do! We'll call you in. We finally gotta make use of those frickin' favors that we have. I didn't think I was going to be going to war with Scandinavia anytime soon, but now we're gonna. Now we are gonna. It's gonna be awesome, too. Imperialism! Done. Frickin' deal. Need a general. Take you. Jump on these losers. You. Also take general. Jump on this loser fort. You go here. You go here. You go here. You go here. Easy enough. No, no, no! I want you to catch him! Don't let him get away! You failed me! Okay, can I force march and catch him? No. Well, I'm not gonna siege down this frickin' fort. Okay. So, it is us... ...versus Scandinavia. I'd like to think the odds are in my favor here. Little bit. Little, little tiny bit. Not by much, though. It's gonna be a real nail-biter. I'm being facetious. It is going to be a slaughter. Okay, um, you go up to here. You go here. You. Here. You here. You. Uh, here. You. Here. You. Here. There we go. So, now we should be able to fight Lithuania, yes? Well, no! Wait! No! I didn't even realize that Lithuania was a member of the Empire. I just figured because they're Catholic. I can't! I cannot declare a war on a member of the Empire from allied to the Emperor in a war. Dang it all the frickin' heck! Lithuania, who else you were friends with? You're allied to the Knights. Okay, hang on. The Knights are not a member of the Empire. I, 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 could, fight, I could fight them. 
Yes, I could fight the knights. <sighs> I wasn't planning on it, but I could. I could fight the knights. And while I'm at it, I'll fight Sight of Venice. Yep, that's, that's what we'll do. And that should drag in Lithuania into a defensive war, I hope. I hope. As long as we don't co belligerize them. This is a, probably a better way to deal with this, because now I don't have now I have to fight freaking Scandinavia. <laughs> uh oops. <laughs> oops, a freaking daisy. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Who's worried? Who's worried? No one's worried. Shut up. Shut up. You're being a pansy. Okay. We have troops coming over here. We will take a minor general. Let's say you. We'll do fine. And then, I'm so sorry, but we're going to have to kill you now. Venice won't join on this one because even though they are the defender of the faith on the Catholic side, they can't defend them in this case. So this will be fine. I'm not even going to have to fight Venice, but I will have to fight Memmingen and Lithuania. Don't care about Memmingen, but Lithuania I definitely care about. Long as I don't co-belligerize them, I think we'll be okay. Now, how does this work? If I co-belligerize them, they're, that's that's effectively like declaring war on them directly, which I can't because they're members of the Empire. I have no idea, but at the end of the day, I don't think I care. We'll just stick with this. <laughs> Imperialism! Okay. Go, 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 go get them. We can call allies in. I can call Austria in on this as well. <laughs> sure, why not? It says yes, but they totally won't. But they totally will, but they won't. But they will, but they won't. Call him. Okay, Venice did actually honor them. I forgot. Venice is a tributary, which means the rules are different. So, Austria is... Austria is now fighting Lithuania, too. <laughs> even when I lose, even when I screw up, I still win. That's how this works now. I need a new general, don't I? Let's do that. Oh, I don't need this admiral, though. Get rid of you. Okay, okay, that's a pretty darn good maneuver. Yeah, we'll use that. Go to the fort. I don't think Lithuania is going to be a threat to me. But, for posterity's sake, let's be extra extra safe. Okay, you guys go to this fort. You guys go to... No, can't go there. Split, split, split. Split, 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 split. I think that's it. Go here, go here, go here. Can't. Okay, go here, go here. Go he here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. We'll just do, we'll just do that. I may have oversplit them a little bit. More revolutionaries. Good lordy. I think I saw some criticisms of me a little while ago. Not not that long ago, but a little while ago, where I was talking about revolutionary stuff, and I, I first immediately thought of the American War, the American War for Independence, when I was thinking revolution. And it's like, oh, no, it's obviously supposed to be France, you and your, you Americans. I don't remember the exact thing, I'm paraphrasing. The point is, though, um, in America, at least, we, we call it the Revolutionary War. I mean, I don't know how the rest of the world looks at it. Maybe you think it's supposed to be the War for Independence, the American War of Independence. But we often call it the Revolutionary War. That's, that's how it's known. Uh, we could grant them aid, I guess. Yeah, all right, that's a lot of money, though. Okay, so let's siege down the knights, then we'll go siege down Venice. I'll just go ahead and eat Venice, too, while I'm at it. Why not? Let's just get a little bit more presence. It's not like they're a useful tributary. Hi, Prussia. I may have gotten myself into a little bit of a pickle here. These are some big nations <laughs> fighting. I'm fighting a lot of people all of a sudden. But hey, I declared war on Scandinavia, which means now I get Iceland. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Okay, go, go here. Take the fort. Yes! Okay, kill the troops. You. Split, split, split. Go here, 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 and here. I mean, I've got Austria technically helping on all of these wars, which is just absolutely hilarious. Stack wipe! Go to this fort. Okay. And from there, we can start moving on Scandinavia. Now, Prussia scares me a fair bit. It's a pretty big nation to have to deal with. Uh, where's your port? We are blockading your port. Wow, it really is that slow? Jeez. Okay. Um, I guess go siege this down. I don't know. I don't know where all their troops are, and I'm a little bit nervous that Scandinavia and Prussia are going to get together and cause some serious issues. 
Prussia and Hungary are also fighting right now. Now, what are you fighting in? Prussia declared a war on them. Oh. Well, it'd be a good time to kill uh, Hungary as well, but... Whoa! Okay, this is what I was talking about. This is what I didn't want to have to deal with. This is specifically what I did not want to have to deal with. Come back. Run. Run, run, run away. Run away. Actually, just go up here for a second. Uh, but you go this way. Uh, actually, everyone force march. I need you all to get the heck out of there. Get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, we're going to go to Ryazan. That'll have to do for the time being. Scandinavia, leave me alone. Okay, I'm a little worried about this army over here now. Take the fort. Dang it! Really? A 78% chance? Oh, hi. A 70 summit percent chance and you couldn't take the dang fort? That seems appropriate. Sure. Scandinavia, man. Don't, don't do what you be doing. Okay. Group, 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 group. All of you. All four of you. Come down here for... I don't know. I guess we have to go to this fort, but... I mean, what are they going to do? What is Scandinavia planning here? They're, they are chasing me, I think. Now he's going north to Oka. Okay. A little concerned that I can't beat that. That's a pretty big army, you know. Keep converting. Pray. Pray for me. Lithuania. Good. Um, stack wipe that real quick. Now he's going... Okay, he's going, he's going south-ish. Why are you getting stuck? You shouldn't be stuck. Go up here. I don't know where he's going, but I don't like it. Okay, he's stopping here in the woods. A really good fight would let us take him down. If I could get enough reinforcements. Now he's going south again. Keep establishing palace bureaucracy. It's the only thing we've ever done because it's the best. Okay, hang on. So we have a numbers advantage if we can get in here quickly. We probably could. If we really tried hard. Woods. River crossings. Four maneuver. Six maneuver. We'd win. I think we could take this fight. This is a good opportunity to take on their troops. I hate to attack him right now because I'm not going to have reinforcements for a little while, but I think we're going to have to. We're force marching, so... Let's see what we can do, because he's coming for these guys, I think. We have to slow him down, even though we're at a significant numbers advantage in the start. Okay, here come the reinforcements. We're not that far off. We're just a few days off. Okay, let's try it. So, to start off... Pretty good morale advantage, discipline van advantage, and everything else. It's not bad. It's mostly just a numbers issue. There we go. Chase him! Wait, where's he going? Probably going here. Chase him! Uh, King Gorogo of Kong is dead. No! Okay, he's not going where I thought he was going to go. Okay. Half you go here, and half you go here. And the rest of you sit on this fort in Lithuania. And you can go and finally kill Lithuania. Peace offer from Bavaria. Oh. Right. Uh, do you want to hand this off to Austria for good... No, we can't. Austria doesn't want it? What? You fought a war over this not long ago. It's because they're trying to preserve the empire a little bit. They want the Holy Roman Empire to still be a thing. All right. Well, Bavaria, I suppose we can we can afford to let you go. Break off your alliance with a few people. Give me war reps. Let's have you break up all your alliances. I don't really care. All right, so Bavaria's out. Good. Hmm. This is going to be another one of those big chaotic wars, isn't it? I think so. 
Because we're kind of fighting a lot of people at the same time here. Hello, Pskov Separatists. There's your troops. What do you think you're doing, buddy? We got that fort down. Okay. Go here, I guess. How are we doing up here? Still a long way to go. But we'll get it. We'll get it eventually. Yeah, I think we're just in a position where we're kind of sitting back waiting to see what Scandinavia decides to do next. If I split up too much, I'm in trouble, though, so I do need to be very cautious. Oop, that was good. Nice timing. Can't cross, so we're not gonna. I can't get through Riga, though. We may have to ask for some military access, which I do think they'll give us. Yeah. That said, we're also at the end of our time, so I think we'll also just kind of have to stop what we're doing and do something different. 1807. I guess we're not actually going to finish this series this week. I thought there was a good chance that we will, but it turns out we are not going to. Got close, though. Definitely got close. Hmm. So next week, early next week, then, I suspect we'll be able to finish the series out. Maybe I'll take a couple days off. And we'll start a new series up in Moravia for as long as we can with the Third Rome. Let's kill these guys, too, while they're separated. Yeah, all right. That's going to have to be good enough for them. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, let me be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.